Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Michael Grubbs Makes Things. I'm Michael Grubbs. This is my YouTube blog where I talk about what I'm working on week to week. Um, today I'm in Los Angeles because I've been on tour with Lee DeWise. We're doing five shows, five shows up the California coast. Uh, and I've kind of used LA as my base station for the first three shows. I've been staying in a neighborhood called Echo Park, which is um, a really cool neighborhood here. It's kind of like the Williamsburg or the Bushwick, I guess, of, uh, of Los Angeles. Um, obviously Williamsburg, Bushwick being the, the neighborhoods in Brooklyn where I live back in, in New York. Um, I think it's very different because of the whole car thing. Uh, there's a lot more space here. Everyone drives everywhere. So uh, it doesn't have that kind of democratized feeling of New York where people just kind of get on trains and go where they need to go. Uh, but there's a lot more space, which is so nice. It feels almost kind of like a sprawling beach community here. So it's really laid back. I think that it has an influence on the art that's created here. Uh, in a good way or a bad way, I don't know. I really like the grid of New York, but I really like the lifestyle of Los Angeles. Um, so the jury's still out. Uh, I've been to a couple of really cool parties here. I went to a, a party called School Night that happens at a club called Bardo. Um, it, it's, there's a New York and an LA version of it. Uh, I've played both versions actually with my band, Wakey Wakey. Um, a guy named Chris Doritas, who is one of the DJs at KCRW, which is a legendary, awesome alternative uh, station. He throws the parties and books all the bands. I saw a band called Sellers, um, that is, uh, I think, a band to look out for. Um, really great kind of musicians band. Um, a band that all the musicians I know are really here to do. Uh, Ariel Pink, actually, who is a, a, another really cool artist, produced her first album. Um, and uh, yeah, so check it out. Sellers spelled with a C, C-E-L-L-A-R-S. Um, then I went to a place called Nonplus Ultra, uh, which is a cool kind of uh, warehouse space here. Um, it definitely, everything felt very illegal about the space, <laughs> nothing felt like it was up to code or what it was supposed to be, it kind of was a, almost like an abandoned warehouse where there was a, a rock show, um, which can make for some really cool shows. Uh, there was a band called the Warbly Jets that played, um, that I personally was super into. Uh, they don't have any music out yet, but I will try and mention it on here whenever I find some. Um, I've eaten a million tacos in Los Angeles. There's so many tacos here. I thought about making it my goal to eat just tacos while I was here. That was a bad idea. It lasted for like a day. <laughs> but I have had tacos at least once a day. Last night I had tacos for lunch and for dinner. Uh, the famous guisados. Uh, and besides that, mostly just food truck tacos, which are some of the best tacos on earth. Um, so the other, and I think the, the biggest highlight of the trip was I got to hang out with my good friend Casey Shea. Uh, he is an artist who a lot of you probably, if you've seen me play with Wakey Wakey, you might have seen him open for me, or you might have actually seen him play in the band. He's one of my favorite musicians, uh, super talented guy, and he just had a beautiful daughter named Gigi. She's five months old, um, and she or five weeks old, not five months, five weeks old. She's so tiny, and uh, also Casey and I worked on a song together while I was there, which was super fun. So. Um, this is near the end of the trip today. I'm gonna fly up to Santa Cruz and then I've got a show there and in Oakland and then I fly back to uh, my wife and my dog and uh, Studio G where I'm gonna be working on some great stuff which I'll tell you all about next week. So thanks for tuning in to this week's edition of Michael Grubbs Makes Things. I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.